Now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And those of you that subscribed, and those of you that stuck with us, we seems like we lose a couple subscribers and we always gain a couple subscribers so maybe our contents not for everybody but it's just such a blessing to have you all along we do appreciate you we do appreciate you we don't take you for granted hope you stick with us during this video We do love you, and sometimes my content's not very exciting, but it's it's what it is, and it's, I, sh I try to show you a night in the wilderness, a night in the woods, camping with me, solo tonight. Maybe something will wander into camp, I don't know, a deer, Bigfoot, who knows. But uh, thanks for coming along, and I hope you stick around and watch the video. Mess, we gotta clean up before we can pitch a camp back in here. The old fire ring. I guess that wouldn't be too hard. Just bring the chainsaw up here. that up. Maybe that piece laying down right there. Get rid of that. Make a place to pitch a tent. Probably right there. Everything is probably down. It's going to come down. That one right there kind of bothers me. I don't know whether it would swing around. Maybe if I would grab it over there and pull it around that way it may cause it to come on down I'm not sure I've got a cold right now you guys it's been hanging on for two weeks so the fence is down right there oh boy it's always it was just so wet this spring it caused things to be uprooted so easily. That's what I'll do. Grab the chainsaw and come back. Try to get this mess cleaned up. Found a good place for the tent right here. Got an area cleared out here. Big enough for the four person coma. It's not big enough for the gazelle. It'll be fine for tonight. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put her up right here. It's frustrating. Thankful to have the Ryobi 40 volt. Go anywhere I go. Don't need gas. I can recharge the batteries on the power station. So, we're good to go.
Well, I got part of it done. That way, if it starts raining, at least I have somewhere to get out of the rain. So far on this Coleman, and I have another tent coming. So far on this Coleman, I've liked it. It's easy to put up. Um, I didn't notice that there was quite a bit of condensation the first ever time I slept in it. Last time it wasn't too bad. I kept more windows vented. But uh, it's got one vent up at the top. But it's easy to put up. Put this tent up in two minutes. So nice out here in nature. Enjoying a soft breeze coming through here. Not a lot of bugs tonight. The fires maybe kept them away. so thankful so thankful God's given me a lot of years on this earth so far and I hope I get many more if I should die tomorrow I'm happy with what I got a lot of bugs up here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe get a fire going fire start sticks there they are These things are amazing. They got resin in them, put a little bit of black smoke out, but other than that, they're great, great fire starters. We add one of these, which I have to get some more, but these are awesome too. Awesome, awesome. Got one of them mountain house meals tonight. It just takes, you have to add water. So I'm gonna put some water in there and get her nice and hot. That ought to get her nice and hot, 10-15 minutes. I just don't know which one to have, y'all. I have beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff with noodles and savory cream sauce with mushrooms and onions, freeze-dried. That sounds pretty good. And I also have chili mac with beef spicy sauce with macaroni beef and beans freeze dry you know what I think that's gonna be it tonight which one would you have had send me a message see which one you like the best I don't know the beef stroking off sounds pretty inviting Especially when it says savory cream sauce with mushrooms, onions, and mm mm mm. Good. I'm going to have the chili mac. They get me a new sleeping bag, too. It is a Guidesman by Blue Lake. It's a 30 degree sleeping bag. It's supposed to get down to 55 tonight, so everything should be good. I have my zero degree mummy sleeping bag. But I don't like it. It just, I feel claustrophobic and it's real small around the feet. But it's very, very thick. And I like to zip it up and lay on top of it. So it, it would come in handy if I was really, really cold and I needed warmed up. But tonight I'm going to use this Guidesman Blue Lake Sleeping Bag. And it's oversized, it's 33 by 80. And I well, it said to measure a cup and a half, so I've got my little cup here. I don't know exactly what a cup and a half is going to be, but there is one. We'll dump it down in there, and we'll go half. I guess I'd rather have it a little too moist than too dry, so here we go. And then we'll seal her back up. By the way, I always take a glove with me because these things get hot. Well, here's the taste test. 
I'll let you know if it's any good. I won't lie to you. Of course, I'm awful hungry. When I'm hungry, stuff tastes better. You know, I, I like this. You can even eat out of these. But I just wish they weren't... Uh, I know they got to be foil to cook. But, man, if they just weren't foil so you could burn them. Here we go. A little spicy, a little too spicy for me. I'm not a real spicy person. Just need some garlic bread to go with it, and I don't have any. Or bread. I'll pack light today. Yeah, it's good. If you like spicy, um, the third bite's not as spicy as the first bite, so I'm getting used to it. got beans, <clears throat> beef, legumes, beans from the legume family, most of you probably know that, legumes are good for you all the way around. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty comfortable, we'll see, it can be hard to get up from down there when you get aging like I am. Trying to take some weight off to make it easier on my body. Gonna be a good night's rest out here in the woods. Well, I was bragging about this little airhead 12 volt pump in the last video, and it worked about less than a minute this time, and it went out, so it's going back. Got some fireworks or something going on somewhere. And maybe we'll get some sleep tonight and maybe we won't. We'll see you in the morning. It's 3.30. Um, actually, it's about 3.40. I was awakened at 3.30 by a raccoon just gone screaming and screaming and screaming but um, this has happened a couple times tonight so and there's a dog on a chain somewhere it just starts going crazy when the raccoon starts screaming so it's been an eventful night you guys we'll see you in the morning hopefully I can get back to sleep morning y'all but you might want to hear them birds them birds. Guess that's a wake up call. I don't know what time it is. It must be about 5.30 or 6. I had to get my coffee water going. Chilly out here this morning. I wish I had brought a long sleeve shirt. I'll think better next time. You know, all in all, it was a good night, uh, other than that raccoon uh, woke me up a couple of times just a screaming. I don't know what was going on, but um, it was a good night, and um, I'm glad I came. I'm glad I did. It was peaceful, peaceful night. Just love camping, but uh, I got my coffee water on, going to get up and get me some coffee, and get dressed and start packing things up. I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast. But thanks for coming along. We'll see you all later.